Welcome back to DETV. Okay, we are going to draw the swivel base very quick. First thing you're going to do is open up AutoCAD 2016. Um, I'm looking at this, it says dimensions are in millimeters, also I'm looking around and I don't see any decimals. Looks like a millimeter drawing to me. If this does not show up and it's over here, then you need to go from start to start to scratch, from scratch, start from scratch, then you'll be able to choose metric or imperial. We're going to choose metric. <coughs> I am going to adjust the size of AutoCAD here and I am going to set up the way I like it. Make sure my snap settings are on 1010 because it's base 10 and then um, push OK. I have 2D model space on and then I'm going to units to make sure it's in millimeters. It is in millimeters. And then precision, I'm going to bring it down to no decimal points because I'm not seeing any decimal points here. Then the page limits. Type in limits, hit enter. It wants the lower left. If I'm going to make this my origin, and this has a radius of 30, I'm going to go over 50 to the left and 50 down. Uh, so that would be a negative 50, comma, negative 50. Enter. The upper, the upper I am going to choose, since this is the origin, looks like it's about 100 over and then plus 20, so I'm probably going to say 150 to the right, which would be a positive 150, comma, and then again, this radius is 30, I want about 20 more, than, so I'm going to do 50. Then I'm going to do zoom, extents and I know I've done it right because this pops right in the middle and to the one side. Um, right at the origin I am going to draw this arc. It's going to be a whole circle but if you think about it it is um, radius 30 and the reason it's radius 30 instead of like these two are diameter 30 and 20 uh, these are full circles, that's why they're diameter, and these are, this is an arc, and so that's why it's radius. So I'm going to choose circle radius, I'm going to go right at the origin, 0, comma, 0, and I'm going to select a radius of 30, and I have my first circle. Then the two after are diameter, and so I can select the center of the circle, choose 20, Remember, you can do spacebar to repeat, and but remember it, it defaults to radius, so you have to right button click, push diameter, and then choose 30 for the other one. All right, so I have my first three circles there. Now I need to know where this one is and where this one is in this arc. There's lots of ways you can do it. Easiest way is just to snap a line. Make sure this restrictive cursor to specific angles, polar tracking, is on. So it'll snap to specific angles. And first I'm going to do is 48. That's how far over this first circle is. 48. Um, now, we could figure out the difference to this one, but I find it just easier enough to go back and then choose 96 which is the center of the other circle. Then I hit escape. All right, so I have two circle, uh, two lines here. Three lines, actually. All right, so center diameter 10. I'm going to choose center diameter right at the end here. Type in 10. Boom, I have that circle. And then center diameter again. And I'm going to choose here and say 20. And then now center radius here and type in 20. All my circles are done. So I'm going to get rid of 
all these lines. Don't need them anymore. I have my circles. We are now going to make a line from the top of this circle over. We're going to, from the top of this circle over, and we're going to go 60. So I choose line. Now, you'll want your object snap toolbar up here. Um, if you don't do it, don't have it, go to tools, toolbars, AutoCAD, and then down to object snap, which you see it checked. All right. So I'm going to choose line, and then I'm going to choose this one. It's called quadrant. It's going to snap to one of these four quadrants of the... Uh, I choose it, and a little diamond will appear. So I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to type in 60. I'm going to just come straight down a little bit past the edge of this circle. Then I'm going to choose another line, choose quadrant, come over to the top of this circle, and go right to where it intersects with the line coming down. I have that arc now. So, I'm just going to trim this up. Select trim. And we have that nice little... Now, one of the problems with this is that this right here has a radius of 15. And this line right here, if you went to properties, you can tell it has a length of length of 10. So, oh, what to do? Um, I am going to actually erase this line. I am going to make a line that goes up 15. And the reason is, we know that this arc is 15 away from this line. So, I'm just going to come out here a ways after going up 15. Select. And we know the center of that circle is somewhere along this line because it's 15 away from this. Above it. We also know that right here is 15 away from the center of the circle. So right at this center section. So I'm going to choose a center radius circle and I'm going to type in 15 and voila where these two intersect is the center of the circle so the way we can test that is we're gonna make a center radius circle from this intersection at 15 and when we do it should intersect right there and then touch this line so we hit enter and guess what? It touches this intersection and this line. Now we can get rid of some of this other stuff. We're just going to hit delete. Now all we're left with is a circle and these two lines. I am going to select all this, trim it up. I want to get rid of this part and I want to get rid of this part. All right. This hasn't been covered in Chapter 2, but I'm going to show you anyways. Um, remember when you go this way, it's what it completely covers. And when you go the other way and it turns green, it is what you just touched. So I'm going to touch all this. I want this line, this arc, and this line to be all selected. And I'm going to show you the mirror command. The mirror command, if you see, it says creates a mirror of a copied selected objects. So I've selected those objects and I want a mirror copy. And then you can do that along a line of access. So I'm going to select it. And I've already, so I want to specify the first point, which is the center of this circle. I want to specify the second point, is the center of this circle. Does it, do I want to erase the original, like what I've selected? No, I do not want to erase the original. I just want to make a copy of it down here. And so right there I have the bottom done. Now, I, I want to trim this circle up because there is no line right here. So I select those three things, trim, hit escape. I select these three things because if you look, there's no circle here either. Trim, 
now I have my drawing just like you see here and I'm going to save it as swivel base first name and last name I'll save it and turn it in. 